Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be something slightly different than my usual videos, but it's something that you guys on Instagram wanted to see. So if you don't have me on Instagram, I basically started DIYing. DIYing, is that a word? I don't think it is. I basically decided to give my dining room table a makeover, and when I realized it was actually going really well, I decided to put out on Instagram if you guys wanted to see it and see what I was doing, and so many of you came back saying yes, so this is what this video is about. I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's just get started. So this is where I got to when I put out on Instagram if you guys wanted to see the transformation. As you can see, I've done half of the sticky back plastic already and I've got an extendable round table so that has made things slightly harder for me. So let's show you how I did this and the rest of the transformation. So this is what I'm using to transform the top of the table. This is sticky back plastic that can help you transform literally anything. I got this from the range and I'll leave the link for this exact vinyl down in the description for you guys. So first thing I'm gonna do is wipe down the table and clean it of any dust or gunk that is on it. I'm using anti back spray and wipes just because I find it picks up more gunk and then I'm just gonna dry it with some kitchen roll. Next I lay out the vinyl and spread it out over the table. So a lot of people would actually measure this properly and that's what the squares on the back are for, but I'm working on a curved table so I'm not too bothered about exact measurements. I'm gonna cut the vinyl, leaving a border around the entire edge, but follow the shape of the table so I'm cutting an oval shape. Once I've done that, I start to peel back the plastic and I'm going to lay it on the table. I'm not gonna curve it around the edge just yet, but I'm just gonna focus on getting it perfect across the top of the table. So when I lay it, I'm leaving an overhang on the inside of the table because it's much harder to lay it if I'm trying to line it up with that edge. As you can see, I continue to pull the back of the plastic away and then I use my hand to smooth it down so there are no bumps or air holes. I have seen people use a card to smooth this, but I find it works so much better with the side of my hand for some reason. So I'm just gonna keep doing this over the whole table. Now when it comes to the edges of the table, I'm going to pull the plastic as tight as possible and curve it around the straight edge of the table. Obviously if you have a square table, this would be so much easier because you can just do that all the way around, but instead I start with the straight edge and pull it around tightly. But when I get to the curved edge, I'm actually going to take a hairdryer on the highest heat. The heat from the
Next is the chairs. So I'm gonna be brave and going straight for painting around the seat, but if you wanted to, you could take the seat off or you could even cover it in cling film. My plan eventually is to actually cover over the seat with new material. So look out for that on my Instagram when I do that as I won't be doing that in this video. When it comes to the more fiddly bits of the chair, I actually used a makeup brush, which just allowed me to be more precise. And that's one chair done. Let's just skip to all four chairs finished and here's the final result. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to me already and you'd like to, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. It really does help to support my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.